Hi guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate my new uh, setup uh, for getting the contactors to close on the Tesla Model 3 Y battery uh, pack. Uh, the idea is to use this in solar storage applications. I'm going to be selling these batteries uh, with the setup, um, pre-wired basically. So you're able to uh, use this to have the battery communicate, basically work with a high voltage inverter. And uh, it uses this uh, Adreno based uh, Lily Go board, which is running a uh, battery emulation software. And that basically establishes the communication between the inverter and uh, the battery BMS. And uh, uh, that basically talks to the battery via the scan port. It talks to the uh, HVC control in the battery. And uh, it uh, causes the battery to close the contact to support the criteria on that. And uh, for that to close the contactors, you need to make sure the HVIL loop is, is all closed. And that's accomplished by uh, uh, using a resistor, 120 ohms for dual mode or 60 ohms for real wheel drive. Although I, I'm guessing both should work for both, but I'm using 120 right now, didn't test the 60. Between these two pins, I believe, and then the can is connected and the power. So to close the HVIL loop, you also need to make sure all the high voltage uh, plugs are closed. So I'm just using a high voltage cable to connect the rear motor to the front motor plugs, but you can just use uh, any, any kind of a pin to close that little uh, HVIL contactors inside. Um, not the big ones, the tiny ones, the small ones. And then you also need to do the same with this, uh, the smaller plug, which usually runs to the AC compressor. Another thing that you got to do for contactors to close is you need to trick the battery into thinking that the drive unit is connected to it. And that is accomplished by uh, wiring in a capacitor. Uh, I'm using a capacitor like this. You can use any capacitor between 650 and uh, 1000. Uh, needs to be high voltage, 500 volts. And the polarity, so the minus here, is going to the side of the plug, if you have a wire like this. Other people also, what they did is they opened up the, the penthouse lid and they wired the capacitor inside to plus and minus. But I want to have the lid always be closed and I don't want to mess with the, what's inside the lid. I want to just connect everything from the outside. This battery is only used to start the process uh, when the battery is completely, when the contactors are open. Once the contactors are closed, you can actually disconnect any battery and it will just run on its own. I use a little DC, uh, DC step down converter to power this will be board. Uh, it outputs five volts uh, to the board. And in addition to all of this that I just discussed, what I also wired in, which is a totally separate system, don't confuse the two, I wired in an OBD2 uh, adapter and I hooked it up to this uh, Bluetooth OBD2 adapter, which is communicating with my phone and I'm running a Scan My Tesla app. So, so that shows you you know, the volts and the amps, watts, and uh, if you select BMS, you're gonna see individual cell voltages. I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you.